everyone. <clears throat> Did you see the frog jumping? Did he get away? That's what happens when I don't talk for like 20 minutes. That's why I <laughs> constantly I'm talking. You guys are like, you guys talk to me. I'm like, no, no, I'm doing this for, for myself. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us on After GMS. On this Tuesday, June 7th, I'm Tracy McCain here with Christian Morgan and Megan Malaris. All right, let's start with our forecast because, whew, that might get a few frogs jumping away from mm. here. It's too They're hot. They're all going, you know, the wrong direction, apparently. Uh, yeah, the humidity's coming back, the frogs are jumping out, and uh, it's just not great. Uh, there you go. <laughs> could be worse, though. Of course, as you look out over the uh, out over Winston-Salem at Wake Forest University at Truist Field, we do have plenty of cloud cover out there this morning. This has been steadily on the rise all morning long, the dew points. When we started the Good Morning Show this morning, we had dew points in the mid-50s. Now they're in the mid 60s, so that humidity is really making a comeback in a big way. We've moved out of that comfortable range now into the humid category and dew points are about five to 10 degrees warmer this morning than they were yesterday morning at this time. And you can feel that when you step outside. It's not as crisp or not as refreshing as it has been the last few mornings. And of course that prevented us from really cooling down a whole lot in the overnight hour. 67 out the door right now in Greensboro, 67 in Winston-Salem too, 68 Lexington and Ashboro. 65 in Burlington, 66 up in Reedsville, 66 in Walnut Cove too, and 65 for our friends up in Mount Airy this morning. 70s aren't far away. They're down along the coast and down in South Carolina and Georgia, but high pressure still is in control of our weather, although it moves further and further offshore. And as it does, we get on the backside of that high pressure system. So we're getting what we call the return flow. So on the backside of a high, it means we get a southerly wind. So we're getting winds out of the south, bringing in the heat and bringing in all of that humidity which is really that moisture moving our way out of the Gulf of Mexico. As the front gets closer to us, that'll kind of be the trigger for showers and a few thunderstorms heading into your Wednesday afternoon. And then the front will cross us as we go into the day on your Thursday. And it will bring us a little bit of relief from some of the heat and a little bit of relief from some of that humidity as well, at least for one day. Here's how the radar looks this afternoon. It's a partly cloudy sky and I'm not going to totally rule out a stray shower or maybe a pop up thunderstorm, but most of us will end up staying dry for your Tuesday. The better chance for those showers and storms comes as we go into your Wednesday afternoon. They'll be hit or miss, but the ones that do pop up could pack a punch or maybe a damaging wind gust or some hailstones as well. Main timing we're going to watch tomorrow afternoon is from about two up until about eight, because once we lose that daytime heating, most of the showers and storms, if they're out there, will start to come to an end. They don't want to have any more fuel to keep them going. So it's really two systems for the week. System one is today and for tomorrow. We get a little break for Thursday and Friday, and then we'll have another system on our way heading into the weekend. Likely brings us another round of showers and storms for Saturday. So for today, it's a mix of sun and clouds. We'll keep that low chance in for a shower or storm as we head into the afternoon, but a muggy low 80s this afternoon, not a refreshing or dry low 80s like we've been used to over the last few days. That humidity, the extra cloud cover will prevent us from really cooling down a whole lot overnight. So we'll say mid and upper 60s for the overnight lows and by the time you wake up on Wednesday morning. Really feeling and looking a lot like summer over the next few days. Thursday looks to be our warmest day of the week so far at 87 just before that cold front rolls through to help cool us, some, uh, cool us back down some heading into your Friday and into the weekend. There's your Saturday rain chance at a 40% right now. Just scattered showers and storms the way it looks to me. If that changes, of course, we will keep you updated. Low 80s for your Sunday too and a little less humid to round out the back half of the weekend and kick off next week. All right, you're going to feel a little nostalgic mm -hmm. with our talker this mm -hmm. morning. It is about something we used to use all the time to watch anything we wanted to watch. Yeah, think about <clears throat> Blockbuster and all the other places that you used to go to get your VHS tapes, you know, rent Back to the Future <laughs> and all those other 80s and 90s movies. Yeah, your VCRs, your VHS tapes. So we're asking you what memories you have stored on your VHS tapes or VCR. So I asked on my Facebook page and uh, we heard from Edwards who said, I used to record soap operas and favorite TV shows to watch over and over again. Had to be careful and record over shows, not to record over shows. And when the tapes mess up, oh, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Patricia says, my children, when they were little, opening up their Christmas gifts, and my mom on her last Mother's Day before she died, I planned a Mother's Day cookout for my mom and all my aunts. Oh, that's sweet. That's special memory. Mm -hmm. Becky said, have my wedding videos of my daughter learning how to walk and talk and videos of my husband racing and winning at Ace Speedway. Hope our VCR never breaks. Mm -hmm. Debbie said, my 43-year-old daughter's high school graduation and my son's first 
birthday party. All right, so the reason we're talking about this is because it is National VCR Day. It seems like a lot of people don't even have a VCR mm. anymore, but mm. they have the tapes. So now the challenge is, okay, how do you get the material safely off the tapes mm -hmm. onto not even a, a disc anymore because those are becoming obsolete. Mm -hmm. How do you get them on your computer or into some kind of a cloud sharing device to make sure they're preserved for the future? Everything's digital now. Mm -hmm. Well, there are ways. Yes. <laughs> um, there are companies that, you know, specialize in things like that. I remember in college, I used to edit tape to tape and it was like VHS tape to VHS tape. Mm. So there is equipment, and I don't know how good it is at this point, <laughs> but there is equipment out there that can take, you know, things that were edited on a tape, on a VHS tape, and put it on to another um, device. However, I think from there, you would then have to think, okay, now how do I get it into like a cloud service right. or yeah. a USB so that I can, use it digitally. It's but like you have to go through all the steps progressively to get there. Definitely. <laughs> and these companies charge too. So if you want yeah. it, but I mean, memories are priceless, right? Yeah. So I mean, like for that viewer who has a um, picture of her mother, you know, her last Mother's Day mm -hmm. and their cookout. I mean, those are memories that I'm sure, you know, she never wants to let go of. So that could be an option for her or the birth of your children. I was joking, you know, there's probably some videotape somewhere still in my house or at my grandmother's mm -hmm. house of me as a small child singing at church Aww. and being in the church plays yes. and the Christmas, you know, the Christmas cantata, if yeah. you will. I'm sure there's still videotapes. Spectaculars. Of that. And that's <laughs> Spectacular. how you got your start. I mean, so you I got my start. Space, yeah. So you want those memories yeah. of what fueled yeah. your passion. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a video I used to watch all the time. It was called, it, it was called, there goes a bulldozer. And I watched it so much. But you that remember the, tape, the name in your 30s. I remember the name in my 30s. And the tape, I wore the tape out to mm. the point where it got stuck. Yeah. And my mom had to get it out and fix it. But it never was right after that. You'd be watching and all of a sudden all these lines would just start oh, running down no. the TV. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, there's no fixing that. Nope. <laughs> nope. Or when you would check out a, a tape at the uh, Hollywood Video or Blockbuster mm -hmm. and it, it was damaged and you put it in <laughs> and you didn't know until you got home. and. Uh, yes. You're supposed to check those things before they run them back out, but for some reason, mm -hmm. yeah, it always happens. Always. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. the Titanic tape. It was such a long mm -hmm. movie that it was on two separate VHS tapes. So mm -hmm. when you got done with the first one, which was at like the, I think the part where the ship was sinking or mm -hmm. something. Oh spoiler no! Alert, what I know. Then you got to put the <laughs> you had to put the next one in and hope that that worked mm -hmm. so you could finish the movie. Pearl Harbor was the same way. Yes, mm. that was a long yep. one too. Mm -hmm. It came in one of those, you know, big plastic videotapes where you open it up and there was one on each side. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, now you don't have to sit with your, you know, remote control next to you because, you know, digital streaming services don't have a lot of commercials and things like that. But when right. you recorded off of your television, mm -hmm. you would have to record the commercials with it. And yeah. then you'd have to fast forward through the commercials yes. um, and, you know, stop. And then you go too far, then you have to rewind back. And, you know, a bit, there's a joy of simpleness, you know. It's kind of a, a lost lost art, too. Remember America's Funniest Home Videos? Yeah. It sounds weird to say America's Funniest Home Streaming. Right. <laughs> right. Like, look what we caught on this <laughs> iPhone today. Look what we caught on this iPhone today. <laughs> Well, there's so many options now, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of takes away yeah. from the allure of the whole experience because it was so fun going to the, mm -hmm. the store to pick out those tapes to rent and then have the responsibility of keeping track of them and returning them. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just a really nice memory. You remember the big video cameras, too, where you yeah. had to put the tapes in? I we had those. one of those. We had one of those at home, and mm -hmm. I would lo I love taking it to the beach or going to a friend's house, mm -hmm. and we'd always you know, try to make movies. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't like it, you just back it up and record it right back over it again. It's funny, I was telling an intern once, she's like, you know, how did you get so good at your job? I'm like, because we had a VHS tape. <laughs> and you only had one, maybe two takes. You didn't have more that than that. It. Right, and then you had to like, because imagine going through all of that tape to try to find your best clip. I remember, doing Impossible. That. I remember doing that in college and fast Impossible. forwarding back in the thing up and I got so irritated. Right. I was like, I'm one take wonder. <laughs> one take. <laughs> so, I didn't want to scroll through the whole tape and try to find it. The projects were due. That's you right. know, uh, storylines had, I mean, stories had to get on mm -hmm. the air. So yeah, VHS kind of changed things. <laughs> now I could be like, oh, I don't like that delete. I don't like that delete. It's funny, even the, it's funny, even the advancements that we made, you know, I graduated college in 2014 and it's amazing the advancements that have been made since then because at that point I was still editing on the little mini 
the little mini tapes. Oh, the mini, yeah. And now the I'll go DVDs. back. Yeah, That's and now everybody called, uses yeah. the memory cards like we have here. And I'm like, yeah. like y'all didn't have this nice luxury. No kidding. Yeah. I wouldn't I even know how to use it right now. I forgot. I forgot how to. I wouldn't yeah. even know. Use those. Yeah. I mean, and by the time you relearn it, we'll be on to the next thing. <laughs> we'll be on to the next know? thing after this. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so obviously this conversation is stirring up a lot of memories, some nostalgia. As we anticipated, our Brian said, used to hate when you would rent a VHS, had to rewind the tape before returning it, mm -hmm. and then sometimes he would rent some that were already on the credits. Mm. <laughs> so somebody did not do what they were supposed to be doing mm -hmm. when they returned the tape. Shanika said, it's funny, I still have that Titanic VHS at my mom's, mm -hmm. but do you have a VH VCR to play it, Shanika? <laughs> That's the bigger question. Joanne says many tapes of her late husband, birthdays, vacations, family events, precious memories. Favorite movie is The Sound of Music. Mm. Mm. Yeah, all bringing back memories. Mm. Lakaya uh, sent in something very sentimental. She said wow. that she remembers the birth of her daughter and has it on a VHS tape. Um, and Dana said, my kindergarten musical, like you, mm. she was a star very early. Oh. She said, I was a lead singer actress, lol. So, all of those uh, things, you know, I have a lot of my um, sports activities, games, you know, things that I would love to share with my children because they think that I've like literally just was an adult my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you are not a kid. You've You're always not. been this way. Yeah, exactly. You've always been that tall. And I'm like, nope, mm -mm. I actually had to grow into this beautiful figure. I started out just <laughs> like you all. Exactly. You know, I wonder now, you know, as you think back, like we're talking about all these videos that we have and, mm -hmm. you know, videos mm -hmm. that we made or that our families made when we were kids, you know, they look a certain way, they mm -hmm. sound a certain way, and you get a certain feeling when you watch them. And I wonder what it's going to be like, you know, when we get further down the road and we look back at what we're doing now. Yeah. And like, you just see how much progress we've made and the quality of things right. and, and the, you know, accessibility of right. things. And I wonder, as we get further down the road and we look back at some of these videos that we mm -hmm. make now and be like, Oh, those were the good old days. And then they'll be like, how did you make that? You know, what were you yeah, using? Mm -hmm. It's inevitable. Yeah. I mean, I think about, you know, in our industry, you know, a few, maybe eight to 10 years ago, um, people would send me or want to send in tapes mm -hmm. and things like that. I'm like, okay, just send it to this address. They're like, oh, I'll email it to you. I'm like, what? Email what? I'm like, YouTube. <laughs> like, what is What's this? Yeah. You know, and then, you know, I look at all of my, you know, resume reels and they're all like VHS tapes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanted to see how bad I was. <laughs> but, oh, can't do that. <laughs> can't watch those it. in the past, yeah. Yeah, well, it's just interesting to think of how far we could come, even in just the next few years. I mean, obviously, our phones are the way of the future, yeah. mm -hmm. not only in consuming media, but recording it as well. You know, all those social media influencers now just use their iPhones mm. to make videos. So obviously, there's going to be, I think, some level of that on a professional level for yeah. work careers like this. We just have to figure out how to, how to do that. Yeah, this is interesting. Lloyd brought up a really nostalgic moment. He said, remember, you could record like five movies on VHS. It had to be SP or slow process mm. and SLP, slow, long process. Then you would let your friends borrow your tape and you would never get it back. I remember that. I remember especially when it came to like cassette tapes and like your slow jams, you know, that you yeah. would record and you'd make a whole big compilation of like the best music and then you'd let your best friend or someone who you thought was your best friend borrow it and they would never return it. I had, you know, some of those videos, we had several of those videos, you know, like mm -hmm. from the church plays and mm -hmm. those kind of things. And I remember watching one one time and in the middle of it for about 10 seconds was part of an episode of Days of Our Lives. And I was like, mom, what happened? <laughs> And she had recorded over that oh, no. to record that soap opera. So I don't remember what song it was, but we got one right. song less out of that Christmas cantata. There's no control Z. <laughs> There's no control There's no undo no. at that point. Exactly. All right. Certainly a great conversation. Uh, we are going to move on to our headlines this morning. And uh, yeah, always just great chatting with you guys, especially when it brings back memory mm -hmm. lane. Yeah. All right, let's get to those headlines. We mentioned a lot of important news stories to talk about. Winston-Salem police say an impaired driver faces charges after causing a serious crash. Officers say Trevor Ivester was driving on Scar Lake Drive Monday night, Skylark I should say, Monday night when he crossed the center line and crashed into a woman driving in the opposite direction. The woman was airlifted to a hospital with serious injuries. Police say Ivester also went to the hospital with serious injuries. Officers say excessive speed and impairment appear to be contributing factors in this crash. Ivester faces several charges, including driving while impaired. 
Former Guilford County Commissioner Alan Branson claims county leaders illegally used taxpayer dollars to campaign for Guilford County Schools $1.7 billion bond. He filed a protest to the County Board of Elections and they called a special meeting today to consider it. You might remember the bond passed last month by a large margin, 61% to 39%. Now today's meeting will determine whether there is probable cause to move forward. If that happens, then they will move to a full hearing where both sides can provide evidence and testimony. If the board dismisses it, Branson could appeal the decision to the State Board of Elections. We'll keep you updated. The Greensboro Children's Museum is starting its summer programming with Pride as the focus. This month, the museum is running several Pride-themed programs. The WFM Line News 2's Anthony McMiller has more on what's available. Before even entering the Greensboro Children's Museum, there are these beautiful pinwheels draping the entrance to honor all families under the rainbow. And inside, they are offering several Pride-centered programs. The first program is Story Spark. Museum staff will read a book that illustrates how diverse family units are. And in their science lab, kids will use a prism to show how light is fracted to make a rainbow, symbolizing pride. And at their art studio, Love Rocks are decorated with inspiring messages that guests can take with them or leave at the museum for others to enjoy. A museum team leader says helping youth better understand what they're already exposed to is important. They're exposed to it anyway. Um, so why not be it in, a, in an environment where we're committed to being um, engaging, development of the child. Um, you're going to interact with people from all walks of life the longer you live. So we want to make sure people understand, okay, you're different in this way, you're different in this way, but we can still work together, create things. And it's programs like this that has landed Greensboro a perfect score for inclusivity for the LGBTQ community. The city received a perfect 100 points in the latest national human right campaign, Municipal Equality Index. Greensboro was also one of the first cities in North Carolina to pass a non-discrimination ordinance. Greensboro is one of the most diverse places in North Carolina to me. What we're going to take a look at is the structures of families and how that changes, but how the core theme of a family is actually love and not necessarily what that familial structure looks like. And there was no extra fee to participate in these programs. They are included in admission. And the museum changes its themes monthly. Next month's theme is a celebration of summer. All right, one more check on that forecast as you get ready to head out for your Tuesday. And the humidity is back, and you notice that in a big way today. Low 80s again this afternoon, but a muggy low 80s with a mix of clouds and sun. We'll see a low chance of an isolated shower, maybe a thunderstorm, but most of us, I think, do end up staying completely dry for today. Better chance of scattered showers and storms heading into your Wednesday afternoon. Low severe weather risk, but a couple could be a little punchy and a couple may have a damaging wind gust or maybe some hailstones in them as well for your Wednesday afternoon. Drier for your Thursday, but it's the warmest day of the week ahead of a cold front that'll start to cool us off as we head into the weekend. And one more system for the week heads our way with a little bit of rain and maybe a thunderstorm for Saturday afternoon. All right, looks like a hot week in the triad and humidity filled week in the triad, but you know what? It's summer. It's summer. <laughs> Gotta love it. Here it is. Comes with the territory, Gotta right? It do it. It does. We'll have we'll have some more of these little breaks, yeah. you know, in humidity. Mm -hmm. We'll get a couple little reprieves here and there, but some are setting in. Temperature wise, we're about average today. I mean, it's, yeah. what, 83 is 83 our 83 is the average high. high right now. Not bad. Pretty much right on the money. Yeah. Right. At least it's not 90 degrees. We've seen that. That's right. Recently. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with us on After GMS. We'll see you back here tomorrow right here on the News 2 Facebook page. See ya.
Summer camp for your kids and summer savings for you. Our money expert tells you how to get both. And free summer meals start soon. We'll tell you where, when, and how to get them tomorrow on The Good Morning Show.